So in this video, we will be discussing about Seller Shopify Store Connector feature app. So this app allows your sellers to connect the Shopify stores with the multi-vendor marketplace. There will be a product management, order management and inventory management. So all the sellers of the marketplace who are having the Shopify stores can easily connect the Shopify stores and they can use the order management and product management and inventory management. So in order to do that, we'll be enabling the feature app. Then we'll be config doing the configuration of that feature app on the admin panel. Then we'll be going on a seller end and config configuring the app. Then we'll be creating a custom app on the Shopify store of that seller. And we'll be just checking the status of the configuration and webhooks. So let's navigate from admin panel, click on feature app section. Search for Shopify Seller Connect this one. Shop seller Shopify Store Connector app. Enable this one. So we like to inform you that this app will cost you around forty dollar per month, apart from the multi vendor app that you are using it. So once enabled, click on configuration section. So go in seller supported app configuration. So here you can see the configuration related to the product and the order. So in the seller app configuration section, you can enable or disable the syncing of orders and other features that are listed over here. So you can enable the order syncing. If you want to sync only the paid orders, then you can click over here. Then if you want to sync the customer details, if you want to sync the system, uh, the order tag like there is an order created on the multi vendor app if you want to give a tag so whenever there will be an order created from the multi vendor app on the seller shopify store so it will always contain a tag so let me show you that as well let's go in order section you can see this order was created by the multi vendor app and this is a tag so a seller can easily understand this this order has came from the multi vendor marketplace of the admin okay then you have this section allow to update marketplace shipping labels then you can enable this also if you want to sync order refund from seller to admin store or order refund status from admin to seller store you can use this feature let's go in the product configuration section so if you want to sync the product name product type product tag quantity price image description collection meta fields policy update, product SKU and product image or text if you want to sync all these you can enable as per requirement. This product inventory policy update is for the feature where you can enable this option continue selling out of stock. So if you want to use this feature you can enable this as well. Click on save. So let's get back to the seller panel now. So the configuration on admin panel is end. So let's get back to the seller panel. So this is the seller panel. We are using this seller. And this is the seller Shopify store. We'll be using this Shopify store. So in order to configure on the seller end, just click on configuration. Click on seller sync app configuration. So here you can see the fields over here which will be required in order to connect the Shopify store. So, and then you can see collection mapping and tag mapping where we will talk about this later on this video. So let's copy and paste the Shopify store URL. Paste it over here. And next API key, secret keys and access token. Let's go into Shopify store of the seller, click on app section, click on develop apps, create an app, let's name it the store connector app Shopify MVM app. Okay, let's create an app. Click on configure admin scopes. So we need to give the access like assign fulfillment orders. So all these are mentioned in the guide. We'll just put it in the description as well. So you can just see and provide the access accordingly. 
going back to the Shopify store. So yeah, once done, click on save. Now install this app. Click on install. Okay, so you will get all the details over here now. So here's the API key and API secret key. Then this is API access token. So this will be the real one. So carefully you have to just copy it and paste it. So access token should be pasted over here. Then API keys, then API secret key. So you can use these feature like auto sync new products. So it will be auto sync the with the if there is new product created on the shopify store it will be automatically sync with the multi vendor then you, if you have multiple locations on the shopify then you can use this option since i have only one location so if you want if you have multiple locations then you can use this option from which location you want to sync the products with multi vendor if you are using a third party app like uber low or any doctor thing app like Swocket, you can use this so it will automatically sync the products to the multi vendor whenever there is an uh, update or from the dropshipping store for the products detail you can use this for the label okay so once done just click on save okay so the app is properly installed and the connection to test the connections and the books click on this Shopify webhooks. Let's see. You can see all the registered webhooks. So webhooks are basically used for tracking the events. So you can unregister or register the webhooks anytime as a seller. So let's unregister the first one, this one webhook. Okay, so it's being unregistered now. You can register it also anytime as per your requirement. So as you can see that the status are registered, it means everything is working fine. So coming back to the configuration once again. So is a collection mapping and a tag mapping. So basically collection mapping will help you while you're importing your products. So it will help you to import the products in a proper way. So if you have a collection on your Shopify store and you want to sync that collection with the multi-vendor marketplace collection of the admin then you can map it from here similar goes with the tag you can do the same thing with the tag as well you can map the shopify store tags with the multi vendor tags provided by the admin okay so once done let's click on import products so you can import the products we have given three options you can import on the basis of date range you can import on the basis of product id you can import on the basis of product handle so on the date range, if we'll, we will click, let's from just click on from first Jan, we'll make it 19th January. Let's click on first of April. Click on import products. Okay, so all the imported products will be under product listing section. Okay, so once you imp imported the products, so you will find under here. So the approval is pending from the admin end. So we'll see that as well. So all the imported products you can see, this is the admin panel under product listing section. You can see over here, all the products are imported. So we can approve or disapprove depending upon the admin requirements. Okay. Now coming back to seller panel once again, click on in. coming back to seller app configurations. So this is done. So let's check the second method on the basis of product ID. So coming back to the Shopify store, click on products. So product ID can be found over here. So this is a product ID. You can copy it and paste it. Click on. So since we already have that product, so it won't be imported, but this can be used like that. Uh, product handle you can find it over here like this is a product handle 
so you can copy it and paste it so this basically these two you can use uh, on the best of product ID and this will be on the best of product handle so this product is already in the store so that is why it's showing an error that already exists so once the products are imported you can have this you can use this option as well connector price rule so here you can just define the pricing rule uh, you can use this if you want to just add something to the pricing so you can use this option so if you have any query uh, just feel free to mail us on support at that we are also available on the live chat support there's a live chat which you can use anytime 